Hi everyone and welcome back to yet another video tutorial. Now today's tutorial is all about how to add a calyx to a sugar roll to give it that complete finished look. For this you'll need a calyx cutter, some small scissors and a ball tool, some sugar glue and a paintbrush. For dusting you will need emerald green, lime green and egg yellow and a palette. It's best if you use a palette to avoid creating a mess, like I always do. And a brush, of course. And your sugar rolls. This is a sugar rolls I made earlier. And as you can see, it's not very clean at the, at the back. And you can still see some white bud on, at the bottom. You'll also need your foam pad. And over here, I've already cut my calyx. So all I've done is... I've got some green florist paste. I've um, put it through my pasta machine from the thickest, which is the seventh setting, all the way to the second thinner setting. So, let's get started. So, the first thing that you want to do when you've cut your calyx is either pinch them at the top just to give them that little bit of point. Or what you could do is just get some scissors and just cut a tiny bit off so it, it gives you the point as well so with whichever method you prefer once you've done that then you want to your scissors again and hold your calyx in your hand have one little bit facing you the point towards you and you just want to create little snips straight snips and then you can just make them a little bit pointy like so and you can add two or three or four on each side depending on how many you wish to add And you want to do that for all of them. So it looks like this. And then what we're going to do is do the dusting first. So as this is going to be the inside, we don't need to just start. We're going to just the outer side, the one that you're going to be able to see once it's on your rows. So in here, add a little bit of lime, ooh, not a bit, lime green, some emerald green, and some egg yellow just a tad bit of that then what you want to do is just mix them up and just start doing the the calyx You can never go wrong with dusting. And then if you want, you could add a little bit of lime green on the edges. Well, all you want to do is turn it upside down on your foam pad so this is the inside of the calyx and you just want to fill the edges a little bit
and that too going from the point inwards not the not in that direction but in that direction so the flicks end up separating just bring it in like so so with your sugar glue coat all the inside section and then poke it through and where you want where you can see your bud you want to cover that first shift it around a little and just stretch it and glue and at that point if you wish to just using a cocktail stick or a florist wire just bend them a little or you can just leave them like that like, like so as you can see they're not glued and that's not glued a little bit as well but you can either have them fully glued to the rose or you can have them slightly hanging off whatever you prefer And then get some more gum paste, roll it into a little ball. And then a little teardrop. Add some more sugar glue to the base of the calyx. And then pour that through. And then if you want to go ahead and just dust that bit too, if you can. And there we have our sugar calyx. Now it's very important that you wait for it to fully dry before inserting it into your cake. And now that does give it a clean finished look. Now you can also choose another size of calyx to add. You can either go big or small depending on how much of the rolls you want to cover from the back. Um, I only usually do it roughly about half but you can, you can use whichever size you prefer. Now, if you found this tutorial helpful, give it a thumbs up, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Be sure to hit the bell button to be notified whenever I upload a new video. And thank you for watching.